Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another pen and this is a special pen and I'll tell you why. This is not my pen for one thing. So I met up with John Foy from St John's Pens. He's a good friend that I have met on Instagram and also uh, I've been to uh, two of the London pen shows and the most recent UK Southwest pen show in 2019 with John. And we met up before the show and, and we, as always, were were looking at each other's pen collections. Uh, he had a lot of Arcos, I had some Arcos, uh, I had some Viscontis as well. And we were just talking about our, our pen collections. And then John actually said that he would love for me to review one of his old wins. And I believe he had like four or five old wins with him at the time. He may have more. And... He asked if I would pick one to review and to do a YouTube review of it. So I had a great difficulty trying to choose which one because he had some really lovely old wins. But I know a lot of people like the Arco Browns more than maybe the Arco Verdes or, or some of the other Omas uh, materials or celluloids. So I decided to, to um, uh, take or relieve John of this Arco Brown for the time being. And one of the conditions was that I review the pen and that uh, I ink it up and I write with it. Now, that might not sound like really a strange request. However, it is. And I'll tell you why. John is more of a collector than a writer of pens, whereas I'm more of a writer than a collector. Like I have a collection of pens but I have to write with them and use them. Whereas John tends to, he will write with some pens, but he tends to have pens really as a collector more than anything. So this pen here that you see here, this lovely old one, has never been inked up. So John has not only loaned me this pen, entrusted me with this lovely pen, but he's also asked me to ink it up and to write with it. And he's never written with this pen before. So there's an immense amount of trust there from John to me. And I am quite amazed and taken back that that John would allow me to do this. Now, I did say to John that I would just dip test this pen and write with it. And he insisted that I ink it up. So this pen will be inked up for the first time here on camera and this is a really lovely pen uh, I would love to add this to my collection uh, sadly it is John's and John will be keeping this pen so it will be returned to him in the condition that he gave it to me the only difference is it will have been inked up and written with and you'll see that here today but I just wanted to show you here this is a lovely old win and as I understand it, Oldwin actually managed to acquire some of the Arco material that Omas had and have made a number of pens in the Oldwin cigar shape here. Now, this, if I unscrew it here, you'll see here it has a lovely Oldwin nib. And it says here Oldwin Paris 18 karat gold. And these are typically sort of a, a fine or a medium nib. Uh, I, they, I think they only come in one size and it's more of a really more of a, a sort of between a fine and a medium nib there now with a lot of the Omos pens they were piston filling pens now this one is not um, but it is a cartridge filler and if I unscrew this here you will see the cartridge converter there and that has never been inked up before. So, and it actually has, if you see here, a Waterman converter on it. And now if I screw the threads back up here, the body and the section, you'll also notice that this actually closes up so the gap here is or the the line between the section is almost invisible now obviously it's very difficult to be able to cut the arco here so that it would be perfect but this 
really is a lovely pen and if I show you here look at that that's a gorgeous gorgeous arco that John has here so it is a cartridge converter and it's very similar to my Omas Ojiva that also uh, has a converter well, it's actually an ASC Armando Simone Club um, but you can see here this material is absolutely stunning so I'm really glad that, that John has entrusted me with his very valuable pen because these are not cheap pens whether or not it's an Omas Arco, an Armando Simone Club or an Oldwin Arco these are expensive pens so for John to entrust me with this is really really good and I do thank John for allowing me to do this now John will actually be attending uh, the London UK fountain pen show uh, the new spring edition in March here 2019 as well as October but there's a slight difference John is actually going to be selling pens for the first time so John will actually have a table at the uh, Spring London Fountain Pen Show and I would urge you to go and check him out he will have a lot of pens there uh, he will have some pen cases and notebooks as well uh, I think from, from what he's told me he's going to have a very good table and he's going to be in the main ballroom there uh, against one of the uh, back or side walls so I would urge you to check him out if you are going to go there um, he is getting a website up and running at the moment you can find him on Instagram uh, his Instagram handle is St John's Pens and check out his Instagram feed he has an insane amount of Omas Arco in his collection if you think I have a lot of Arco then you will be mistaken I may have more than most people however John really does have a lot of Arco so and, and this pen is absolutely stunning now let's just do a size check and weight check so the length of this pen is about a hundred and fifty five millimeters so it's a long pen the length of the cap is actually quite long it's actually 73 millimeters in length and then if I uncap the pen and then we'll go to the tip of the tines we're looking around about 134 millimeters so this is an oversized pen for sure now I will do a weight check as well so the full weight of the pen and this is uninked we are looking at just under 35 grams the weight of the cap we are looking at just under 14 and a half grams and then the weight of the pen we are looking at just under 17 grams so the weight of the pen is actually quite nice and I'll show you here in my hand it's actually a really nice size for me I do like oversized pens for sure and I do like heavy pens I also like light pens as well but this for me is actually a good size pen so here you can see it's posted I would say this is quite long that you wouldn't want to post it it's not the cap is not gonna stay on there so this is not a pen to be posted whatsoever but for me this is a beautiful size so in the hand here in the, the weight of the pen as well it's a really really lovely pen so let me just show you a comparison here left to right we have some Armando Simone Club Bologna Extras we have the wild side we have four Arco Verdes in the gold trim the rhodium trim gold trim and rhodium trim we have also a Bologna Extra in the Arco Brown we have John's Oldwin in the Arco Brown we have an Armando Simone Club Ojiva in the Arco Brown we have an Omas Milord and also an Omas Paragon in the Arco Brown 
So, what I now need to do is ink up this pen. And I'll do this on camera. I'm going to use a Waterman Absolute Brown, because Waterman is a good ink. And to be honest, I've not used that ink for a very long time. So, let's make sure the converter is on there. Expel the air. Try not to make a mess over my desk here. And this is a very full bottle, or fairly full bottle. Expel the air against, so you can get a, a better feel. So, put the ink over there. Let me just wipe off this section here. I want to try and get rid of the ink around the threads because the, the threads are actually at the base of the section. I'll just screw this back on. I'm just going to put the cap on for the moment whilst I then go and screw the cap back onto the ink bottle because I do not want to knock that ink bottle over. Otherwise, I am going to have an inky mess. So, we have here the Oldwin, and this is in the Arco Brown, and I believe this is a medium nib, or a little bit, it, I'd say it's more of a medium than a fine nib here and the ink that we have here that you see me ink up is Waterman and it is absolute brown and I do love absolute brown it's an ink that I have really not used a lot in the past now I'm this is not my pen so I'm not going to flex it but this is the kind of line that it will put down. There's a slight line variation there, but I'm not going to try and flex it anymore because I don't want to try and ruin John's nib. Now, in terms of figure of eight, you can see here, the ink flow is very generous on this pen and it really writes well. It's, it's a smooth nib, just maybe a, a hint of feedback. But it's not unpleasant. It's actually good, what I call good feedback. Now, in terms of wetness, let's have a look at how wet this, this ink and nib is. That's quite wet. Do a vertical ink test as well. Yeah. So this is a very, very wet nib. A gorgeous nib. And John, if you do go to to write with this pen and I'm sure you will um, you will find that this is a lovely lovely pen it really really does write very well so again if you are in London for the London fountain pen show in March or in October in 2019 Please do go and check out John's table. He will be in the main ballroom at the show. Uh, the show opens at 10 a.m. And I believe it, there will be a 9.30 a.m. entry uh, if you pay a little bit more to get in for the early bird pass. But that's typically when a lot of the retailers are still setting up their tables. So just be aware if you pay the extra, if you want to get in to avoid the crowd, it's a good pass to pay for. However, not all of the vendors will be set up at that point. I will be there as well 
come and say hi. Uh, I will be uh, doing some videos and taking photos and maybe even helping out on a number of tables. I will be at the show and I will also be trying to do a meetup as well at the show. Most likely around about the lunchtime, maybe even towards the end of the show. The show ends at 4pm I believe. Uh, so maybe we'll do something around 3 or 3.30 in the bar area as well. But I will publish that information closer to the pen show. So this is the lovely Oldwin in an Arco Brown from St John's Pens. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.